I'd like to introduce Congressman Mark Amity. Thanks, Roger. Hey, congratulations to the Western PAC for putting together a, a great event. I can't believe all you pansies are out there wearing coats today. What's it doing? Hey, I don't want to, uh, because the temperature's uh, falling, not rising, I'm going to try to be kind of crisp. I want to give you uh, uh, just a little bit of information that, that I would represent to you as factual, as opposed to a lot of what you're, uh, what you're hearing from the national media folks. Um, so here's, here's a little legislative update on the Second Amendment. Um, first of all, it is my opinion that the President didn't sign 23 executive orders because he had the votes in the United States Senate to pass Dianne Feinstein's bill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Second of all, I want to give you a, a little bit of rundown of some of the folks who serve on the, uh, on the House Judiciary Committee where things like things that affect amendments to the Constitution pass through. I happen to serve on it. Uh, Bob Goodlatte, chairman from Virginia, uh, Ted Poe from Texas, Louis Gohmert from Texas, uh, Jason Chaffetz from Utah, Trey Gowdy from South Carolina, Mr. Marino from Pennsylvania, Mr. Jordan from Ohio, uh, uh, Raul, uh, Las Vegas high graduate, Labrador from, from Idaho. The reason that I'm telling you those today, oh, by the way, Mark Amade from someplace uh, east of California. The reason I'm giving you that information is, is I would encourage you to take a look at the membership of the House Judiciary Committee and ask yourself if you think that there's a threat of somebody forgetting, ignoring, or chipping away at the Second Amendment in that block of votes on the committee. Now, you're not going to hear that on the news stuff. And let me make it perfectly clear. Should we in America talk about things that concern people? Yeah, that's kind of what we do. And last time I checked, that was okay. We'll talk about school safety. We should. We'll talk about mental health. We should. We'll do all of that stuff. This is supposed to be a place where it's okay to talk about things. But why some people have no respect for the Second Amendment when they will fight vociferously for the other nine in the Bill of Rights, remember there's only ten in the Bill of Rights, I know there's more amendments than that. Why some people have no respect, such little respect for the Second Amendment is beyond me, but the last time I checked, it was entitled the same amount of respect as all the other ones to the Constitution. So there you go. Two final thoughts, because I see some people kind of starting to take their coats off and get relaxed here in the parking lot. <laughs> That is this, and these aren't these aren't mine. You may have, may have seen this. A couple of interesting things, though, that I think kind of help keep the perspective. Actually, I'm going to tell you three. I guess the first one I'll start out with is some people say, "Hey, why do you, uh, uh, you know, why do you need 15 rounds in a magazine?" And it hit kind of close to home to me because I own a uh, uh, one of the one of the guns I own is a Smith and Wesson M and P 40 cal. Uh, and, and, you know, I just went out to Frontier Firearm Liquor Pork Rind in, in Fallon, and, and that's what it came with, okay? They say, why do you need 15 rounds? I said, well, you know, I'm not speaking for anybody else, but some of us are not real good shots, and we need, we need 15 rounds to have a chance. So, so there's Mark Amaday's answer, but, but the two serious ones are this. Uh, the Second Amendment wasn't put in the Constitution so people could hunt. Now, I'm a hunter, but you know what? I don't see anything in the discussion from those folks back there that that was put in there so people could hunt. That's it. So let's not talk about why do you need that to hunt, although I already said why I need it. Uh, but the other one is this. There was a gentleman, uh, uh, and it was a, it was, I heard it on a radio program, uh, and uh, somebody says, how come you need that particular type of weapon? And the guy's answer was simply, I want to be harmed as well as the person who is trying to do me harm. Have a nice day. Thank you for the rally.